What is up, everybody? It is Joaquin. And Chris. And Chris. And today we're going to be talking about the short scale bass and why you need them. But before we go into that, as you can see, we're both repping some Phil Ulick Music merch. So he's got kind of the Seinfeld theme, 90s inspired Ulick t-shirt. And I got the one on that's, you know, inspired by the original Ulick Music sign. Um, from back in the day, which you can actually see up front at the store. So yeah, be sure you can check these out on the website or in the store, whatever you that's convenient for you to get them. Um, but anyways, we're gonna be talking about short scale basses. So it's a shorter scale bass, so obviously it's gonna be shorter. So this one is gonna be 30 inch scale length. Most basses are gonna be 34 and they kind of vary in between there. So kind of the big attractive factor of a short scale bass is as a guitar player, I'm used to a shorter scale length. So when I pick one of these guys up, it feels very natural and comfortable to me because I'm not having to stick my arm all the way out. Um, but they're they're awesome to play. They're always super comfortable and it kind of depends on your body style too. It's just what you're kind of into. Um, this one's one of the 2020 Player Series short scale Fender Mustang basses. Uh, so it's got the P bass pickup and the Jazz bass pickup. So that's kind of my reasoning as a guitar player as why I like them is you can just kind of really make it easy to play on the neck. So Chris, why do you like short scale basses as a bass player? <clears throat> well, uh, great things come in small packages sometimes. <laughs> 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 no, it's, I don't know, it's, it's nice. It actually sounds really good. Um, but truthfully, it, because of its size, it's smaller. I mean, that's, that's mainly why I would pick it. It's a lot lighter, it's smaller. Um, that's the main advantage that I can find for me as a bass player that has a full scale bass and an upright. This is gonna be pretty beneficial because I can probably throw this in the car heck of a lot easier with an upright than I can at my five string G and L. So right. I mean that's pretty much where the this is gonna take the icing on the cake for me. It's just its size and it's like I can take this with me on the plane heck of a lot easier than a full size bike bass. I mean, like you're saying most bases are around 34 inches in their scale length, so your base overall, I think, is going to be like what 41, 42 inches long. Mm -hmm. I mean, you're taking a lot of that length off just by shortening the scale length, so this is going to seem more like a guitar when you're going on the plane, and it's going to take a heck of a lot less room. Um, but, I mean, for the size, you get a heck of a lot of punch out of them, so don't see a short scale base and think that you're getting any le less base out of it. You're, right. you, it's gonna give you a lot of oomph out of it. It's just smaller. So. Yeah, and it definitely, and you'll hear when he starts <clears throat> playing that you can definitely still hear the oomph and the tone and everything. It doesn't lose yeah. any of those qualities. It, it definitely feels different to play mm -hmm. just because yeah. of the shorter string, uh, or not string, uh, scale length there. The, the tension on the strings is gonna feel a little bit different, so when I dig into them, I really get a nice bite and growl when playing on this compared to a standard Longer just scale. because mm -hmm. I'm digging into the strings heck of a lot harder than I would. Um, yeah. If I had much smaller hands, I could definitely see how this bass would be super applicable to, my, to me as a player just because, mm -hmm. I mean, it's super comfortable and easy to get around and I can really make jumps really fast on this thing just because I've fairly large hands, but I mean, these things are just awesome to play. So I mean, if you really want something that's easy to play and easy to take around, probably should be looking at one of these. Yeah, the Mustang is probably the most popular short scale bass out there. Um, there's also like Paul McCartney's Hoffner bass is also a short scale bass too. Um, the only other thing with these to note is you generally have to buy short scale bass strings because of the windings that go up here. Um, that they need to be a certain size, otherwise they'll be too thick. So that is something to know. And Diodario makes them, or everybody makes them. So yeah. uh, that's just something to keep in mind if you're buying one of these bases. But they're not a hard string to find by any means. You can find them at any local shop. You can find them here. So yeah, yep. we're going to be running this cool little thing uh, through this old Music Man 100B base head and this custom cabinet. Uh, this one is not fitted with original custom speakers. It's actually fitted with some JBL speakers. Uh, this rig sounds really, really good, and it kind of gets that realm of vintage tone, especially with the Mustang and short scale bass. I know every time I kind of think short scale, for whatever reason, I think it's the Paul McCartney that I think of kind of a vintage -y tone. So 
we'll kind of show off some of this stuff and give you some different tones. So, as you can tell, Chris and I both play very differently. Um, I play like a guitar player, as you can imagine, and he plays like a bass player. But I did notice that playing the short scale, I had a much easier time doing chords. Um, the kind of the last thing I played when I was on the P bass pickup uh, was kind of this very chordy thing that I'd learned a long time ago. That's really hard to play on a regular bass, but on that one, it is much easier to do those gnarly like bar chord things. Um, so that's really what I like about it, and you can get all sorts of tones out of having the jazz bass pickup and the P bass pickup. 
really adds a lot of diversity into this base. Um, that's personally what I like about it. But Chris, what about you? What are, what are the qualities that you think this really uh, shows off here? Uh, it's smaller. Um, I like that aspect about it. I mean, I know I've said that a lot, but it's really easy to get around. Uh, the song I played is um, Grow, Parrish James, one of the artists that I play for. Um, but the bass line in it has this pentatonic run. It's actually kind of a pain in the butt to finger when you're playing it on a full size bass and you're going because it's pretty quick. You gotta get the timing right, otherwise you'll mess up really bad. But it's really easy to get on the or get around that line on this bass just mm. because of how short the neck is. Like yeah. I don't have to really think about my positioning. I can just play. Right. Um, so that that's kind of one thing that I really did enjoy about this. Uh, and the punch. I mean, you get a lot of punch mm -hmm. out of it, especially like from the bridge pickup, the middle and the neck position. The diversity of the tones that you're getting is huge. They're really yeah. This yeah. is a a well designed short scale bass. Yeah, very I well thought out. I very really, very good job by Fender giving them ups on this one. This is a very nice kind of modern take on the the Mustang bass. Um, and of course this old Music Man and Custom Cab helps out a lot with a lot of this. But let us know in the comments below what you think of short scale basses. Do you have one? Are you looking to get one? Let us know down below and also be sure to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Can't have this one though. It's probably going home with me. It's probably. Chris's. It matches my g &L. It does. I've seen it. Yeah, he has. He sold it to me. I did. <laughs> yes, leave us a comment. Like, subscribe. Excellent. Make he gets fade out. Can we fade away? <laughs> did I scoot over or am I tripping? I'm tripping, I think. Action. Lights, camera, action. Directed by Brent Martin. Makeup. <laughs> Please. I got a mustache hair sticking out. You're dropping the mic in our shot. Ooh. Welcome in. Hello, everybody. Yes. Today, <laughs> we are going to be demonstrating 